Hey gamers. And in today's video, I'm going to share this new upcoming public test server, if we can have it or not, and more other stuff that release before the next season start. Let's jump to it. Let's start with the Attack of Undead, but it's a night mode version. Base on this. Attack of the Night. Another event coming soon on top of everything else highlighted today is a brand new version of Attack of the Undead. Get ready to drop into the dead of night while trying to survive against your former teammates now turned undead beasts. So it is very good that we have a version of night mode, more scary, and for those who request to get back the zombie mode. Play this mode, it is also a small version of zombie mode. It is also one of my favorite modes. It is even better to have a night version for something more exciting. And there are more guys, there is an event to be held here. Let's see what it is. Just like Hackney Yard 24-7, this new mode will have a featured event tied to in order to provide you with some extra ways to grab more items and gear. You'll be able to grab the MSMC alarm and a few other rewards just by playing matches in this Attack of the Night playlist and doing what you would normally do in any match, get kills, use melee weapons, survive, and use night vision. You'll be able to find that all under the Undertaker's Storm. Night Event. This new mode is launching in a few days on November 27th, UTC. Be sure to check it out while it is live for a limited time. As you watch this video, this event is currently running. So go and check it. Now let's look at the common bugs that have been reported. Throughout November we've been trying to kick it up a notch in relation to calling out bugs here, even if they are just under investigation and we have no clear solution or fix in place yet. However, we hope these continued efforts show that we are continuously working on a variety of issues and by no means are interested in not investigating and fixing any bug. Here are a few we've seen brought up recently. For Mythic Cards. We are investigating some scattered reports about Mythic Cards disappearing. If you've run into any issues with this, please reach out so we can collect your information, investigate, and check to see if there is a real underlying issue. We'll provide an update on this one at a later time. Next Tempest not hitting multiple targets. We've received reports of the operator skill Tempest not performing its usual chain effect, with the electricity branching to multiple targets as long as they are grouped up. This one is currently under investigation with no clear fix in place, but we'll reach back out to those who have reported it if we need any additional information. For now, we'll just say thank you for reporting this and doing so with patience, goodwill, and clear evidence. Next Mythic Fennec Effects Disappearing We've found an issue with the Fennec Ascended losing its unique visual effects after performing certain actions during a match. We have a fix for this one already, and we'll be deploying it an upcoming update, most likely the next major one coming in December. Another one for custom retycles not changing in default scopes. As the name of this one aptly suggests, we've seen some reports of custom retycles, the kind you unlock, not being applied specifically on default scopes. This is a simple one, but just requires a bit of testing and experimenting with. However, like the others we'll reach back to some of the original reporters in case additional information is required. Next is for missing HVK30 tin stitched, Reddit only. Several seasons ago we had an event, season 9 precisely, where some rewards were not distributed correctly. We queried to see which players should have received them, sent out replacement items for what they should have won, and did this multiple times to make sure we took care of everyone. However, over the last month we've been getting many responses from players saying they reached out to our support teams and never got a resolution on this. Here's the final notes for this community update. We skipped feedback this week, but we've gone over a lot in the last couple of weeks of community updates, alongside a variety of other common bug reports and inquiries, like disync, lag, performance, overheating, and other reported issues or topics. This week, we'll end this update by saying it is almost teaser time for season 13. Tune in this weekend to get the first glimpse at something new coming, then and potentially at the overall theme of that next season. You know us, we love to tease and we'll have plenty rolling out over the next couple of weeks and all the way up until the release. Keep an eye out for all of that. Enjoy this new batch of offerings for season 12. Going dark launching today, stay safe out there, and for anyone else in North America, happy Thanksgiving. Be kind to each other and see everyone next week. Signed by the Call of Duty mobile team. Based on that we will have another tease in season 13 in the coming days or weeks. The season is also about to change, so for sure they will release more hints on what theme or maps and many more. 
and also it say to tune in on the weekend, so basically that is Saturday or Sunday that they will release something new or maybe related to season 13. Now let's see if there is a public test server for next season. Now we will read the comments here in the community update. Let me read it for you guys. For Maverick Blue Zero. Cotton Devs what is the news regarding the test server last week's community update, you said this one will have news on it. Also would be cool if we had a community update with the videos on who the COD M devs are and what the workplace looks like. So we get to know the amazing developers of this game more. Here's what they respond. We have a section on the public test build in the update, but it should be coming early December. Also, ya yeah, we've thought about doing some behind the scenes videos. There honestly probably would have been some at this point if not for 2020 and the pandemic. That makes everything a tad bit complicated, especially anything in person. In short we will be have a test server early in December. Maybe this week or first week of December. So just wait once I upload a video about the link to download the app for the public test server. I'll update you when I have the link for it, so stay tuned guys. Next is about the new update. For Grim Smiley 666. I know you guys have covered a lot in the last community update, and I know you guys said game bug fixes would be coming, but when exactly can we expect the bug fixes server maintenance frame rate drop fixes especially in BR either way I hope to see CODM thrive. Reply. Heya, uh, thanks for following up on all of that and for the general supportive sentiment behind it all. Our next update is coming in early mid-December, and before that we'll have the public test build as well to help us gather even more bugs to fix before then. That update is intended to have quite a lot in it in relation to fixes, improvements, and more under the hood types of changes. Those are the comments I've found that will give an idea in the next few days. If you have any idea what the theme of season 13 is, just comment or your predictions. For me it really related to Christmas. Because it was only one month before that. I have no idea that is accurate for the next season right now. We will only know that when I explore the test server soon. And that's it for this video. If this video help you to learn something new, please give this video a like, click the subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification. We'll see you next time.